Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome to Stephanie's channel. I am Judy. <laughs> You're not Stephanie. <laughs> I'm not Stephanie. She's Stephanie and we went to UCLA together. What else did you say in the intro? <laughs> Today we're gonna be playing We're Not Really Strangers. It's the first time that we both play this game. I found this game through like other YouTube videos and it just looked very interesting. So the goal of the game is basically to get to know each other better. Um, you don't have to play with strangers, but I heard that it's more fun if you play with someone that you're not like super close with. So you don't know everything about each other. So we're not super close. I think we're pretty close, <laughs> but I think there's a lot of secrets still. <laughs> Okay. So I think this game is perfect for that. I will explain how to play to Judy first. Yes, because I've never heard of this game before. <laughs> it's pretty cute. Hello, stranger. Hi. And then the goal of the game is to stay connected, which I love the idea of it. So to play, there's like three different levels. For each level, we're supposed to answer at least seven to eight cards huh? each. The first level is perceptions, kind of like what we think of, of each, each other. other and then you can answer if the answer is wrong uh -huh. if there is an absolute correct answer you can share that and you can learn about what how other people think, think of about you, you. Okay. and then level two is connection so i think level two is mm -hmm. asking harder questions mm -hmm. and then level three is reflection so an example would be how would you describe me to a stranger don't answer okay. <laughs> That's a really hard one. So. I know. So it's, I think it's only gonna get harder. So there's three levels, and then we should try to answer seven to eight for each. So okay. once we finish one level, we move on to the second one. So they're gonna be quick. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be like the first answer that pops up. In your okay. Head. And then there's a final card that we're supposed to wait until the end. But I think for this one, you're supposed to reflect back on the game. Mm -hmm. And then we write a note for each other. We can't open and read it until we depart. Oh, so you okay. open it at home. Oh, so we're really we gonna write a card? card? Yeah. Oh. That's okay. the final card. All right. They even give you pen pencils for it. <laughs> How nice. Super cute. Yeah. Oh, I'll read this note from the creator. I thought it was really cute. It says, I have found there are two ways to play this game. Play safe or to play to grow. The second is how you win. Aww, <laughs> short and sweet. Mm -hmm. And the inside of the box says, inside, we're all the same. I guess so. Yep. And we'll find out. <laughs> we will find out. Okay, let's get started. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh yeah, so to, to choose to start the game, uh -huh. we're supposed to stare into each other. So we play the blinking oh. game. So whoever blinks first. Do you really think Sorry. people want to see that? Yeah. Okay, ready, go! <laughs> oh man! Oh! <laughs> My eyes hurt! <laughs> what was your first impression of me? My first impression. Well, we met through my brother. Um, so, and that time I was, I was looking for housing near UCLA. And then I sent her a message or I sent her a friend request. And then I sent her a message on Facebook and she didn't reply for like, like a week or so. And I was yeah, like, I don't remember that at all. This person is either really busy or she doesn't <laughs> want to talk to me. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I'm just going to give up on that. But later she replied. And that's how we became friends. So, yeah, I my first impression remember. was you're really either like you're either really busy or you just don't want to talk to me. Well, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember that at all. I don't think I would not not answer. But, you but didn't. yeah. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you didn't know that, right? I never told I, you. I, I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if I did it on purpose, I would remember. And why would I? I was the president of TAU. I want to they be friends know, with everyone. They don't know what TAU is. They don't care. <laughs> I'll right. link it down below. <laughs> Do I look kind? Explain. <laughs> yes. You are probably one of the kindest person Aww. I know. I remember 
just feeling like you always try to help and uh -huh. then and you don't really complain either i think you always just do it mm -hmm. because you're nice sometimes that becomes too nice yeah but i believe in whatever you give you will get mm -hmm. so i think you will get a lot of good things in your life oh. wild uh -oh. card no what does that mean so it says write down something others would never guess about you just by looking at you and then we compare and reveal my darkest secrets um are you sure you want to you know people are gonna think i'm weird okay mine is my deep dark secret i love stuffed animals and i might even have created personalities for them maybe <laughs> well i know the first part <laughs> she loves lots of like i see like I there's three over there on her bed and yeah i know she's crazy about lots of but i didn't know she makes personalities for them they have an instagram account follow their account <laughs> i know it's a little weird i i, I think really... i tr i think i try to google why <laughs> why i have that tendency something about attachment problems <laughs> you're gonna laugh or you're not gonna kill me what is it i'm not good at math Okay, this is really stereotypical, um, but Asians are good at math. And people who grew up in Taiwan, they go to the classes for Xing Suan, mm -hmm. which I never did. So my my brother and sister did, and their math is like so much better than mine. And I was economics background, but that's <laughs> you can't forget that. <laughs> it was really a struggle for me to learn math and be good at it. But I wasn't good at it. I just passed the classes. <laughs> yeah, so like when people see me, they think I'm smart. Especially you have econ yeah. major. Yeah, and I just look smart. But I'm really I mean, that doesn't mean you're not smart. It just means you're not good at math. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not good at math. You don't think your math improved? No, like I forgot everything already. And at that time, I was like studying all the time, doing practice problems because mm -hmm. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna pass the class. Right. Yeah. Oh man. So it was a struggle. It was a big struggle. Don't you think it was like a foundation thing? So like, once you have the good foundation, yeah. then it yeah it should be easy. But I, then no one taught you well mm -hmm. in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So it's just like build on. Yeah. I think it's the Xing Suan part. I only have a basic concept. I think part of it is also like we tell ourselves we're not good at it, mm -hmm. and then. We just kind of let that go because yeah. we're just like, yeah, we're not good at it. Yeah, and just focus on other things. So you did not Don't ever say you're bad at math. You're not gonna just kill learn me. it. No, <laughs> I guess it is gonna be a long video. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think my celebrity crush is? What? This is so hard. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna. No. Wait, can I can I get a Wait. country ethnicity? Are you thinking about a girl? I'm thinking about a girl. Okay, girl in Japan and guy in Taiwan. Okay. Well, it's one of the major ones. Like, who like a we, model? Who we grew up with. Most popular Japanese singer from our young days. Bing Chi Bo. The other one. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. Oh, Nami. Yeah, Nami Amuro. Oh, really? She's my favorite. What? She's my queen. Oh, I didn't know that. But I yeah. love her. If you see this, <laughs> talent or you love her look and stuff too. Mm, I think it's all of it. Like her, her talent and her determination. She always put on a good show. She's more like a private and shy mm -hmm. kind of celebrity, which is good because she kind of separates like her life from her celebrity mm -hmm. presence. Mm -hmm. I really admire her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's a good role model. Yeah, and she's been in the industry for like 20 years or something, but then now she's retired. I think being able to walk away from your mm -hmm. fame is also very hard. Yeah. So she knows like what she wants in yeah. life to walk away with that. Yeah. So your guy, celebrity crush. I think you can just forget about it. What do you think is the hardest part of what I do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say this is what I do for a living. <laughs> Well, then that's very obvious what's the hardest part. What is the hardest part? Like thinking about content. I think we're at a phase where we're trying to find what we really value and what we really like to do. And I think that's the hardest thing about what we're going through right now. Um, 
Right. Just knowing that we're putting our efforts in the right place and we're happy at the end of the day. That's so true. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of people feel relatable. What I learned is that basically you just have to keep putting yourself out there even though you don't know where you're, you'll end up. But the only way to keep moving forward is to keep trying and just keep trying, like doing different things. And I've been searching for like the purpose of life for like a long time. And I always say like, oh, I just want happiness. But from a lot of things I've been reading recently, I learned that um, happiness is a reward. And the way to get there is actually service. So meaning it's like by helping other people. Mm -hmm. Knowing that is comforting like what I do because I hope I'm hoping my video can just help like one person. Hopefully I will make more content that's more helpful. All right, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> Second level. Level two. Now we're asking each other questions. What are you more afraid of? Failure or success? And why? I mean, hard one. that is a hard one. Yeah. I mean, obviously the right answer is success mm -hmm. because failure is how you learn and that's how you get to success but honestly my where I am right now I think I'm still afraid of failure even knowing that it will be good for me mm -hmm. it's just hard yeah. to let go and mm -hmm. not care looking back we'll think our failures but right. right now we just can't really take it right at times yeah mm -hmm. i think it would be a good practice though mm -hmm. what question are you trying to answer most in your life right now <gasps> this is so hard <laughs> i cried i'm not get crying <laughs> i think the question is am i happy where i am this covid situation like it really made us um reassess how we perceive the things that we have in life and the goals that we have this past year has been a lot of like reflection of that and so i think the question that i'm trying to really answer right now like i ask myself every day like am i happy and Whatever I'm doing, will that make will that make me happy? That's a tough question. Mm -hmm. Finish the sentences. Strangers would describe me as blank. Only I know that I am blank. So strangers would describe me as really organized and know what I want. Um. Only I know that I am still trying to figure it out. I think especially like during the job hunting process, sometimes you start to doubt yourself, like if you're really um, fit for this industry and if you really have the skills to succeed. Only I know that I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> what is your first love's name and the reason oh my you God. fell in love with him and, or her? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first love was kind of like puppy love mm -hmm. so i actually don't count it as my first love i think right Too you could much. talk about one that you actually count and th that is my husband <laughs> <laughs> the reason that i fell in love with him meeting him really changed my perspective on things because i used to like people by their parents or kind of like love at first sight. I just want to like get to know them and then I start changing myself to be someone who they would like mm -hmm. and also liking the things that they like. So we have something to talk about. I realized that I was kind of just like not being myself and letting other people decide who I am and my emotions depend on other people. Meeting my husband, it really changed that because we were friends and we weren't interested in each other at all. Just not interested <clears throat> in his look. <laughs> Simply put. <laughs> um, but then we really got along, like um, our interests and like our background, humor, thoughts on life and like our goals and stuff. So that's how we got to know each other. And I was really myself. And that's how I knew he loved me for who I was, not someone who I'm trying to be. I found someone who like you said, loved me for uh, more than I love myself. And he made me realize that I'm also worthy mm -hmm. to love, you know, so. That is yeah. so sweet. I'm gonna cry. 
Where are your tears? <laughs> what would your younger self not believe about your life today? Ooh. I feel like that's a lot. I think that one is hard for me only because I've never really been the type to like dream about oh this is the life I'm gonna have so I never really thought about the future because I didn't think of myself to be able to get more than mm -hmm. what I had whatever I get I'll deal with it kind of thing but I guess like what I'm trying to say is I have so much today mm -hmm. I have a lot of close friends I have a really nice environment, which is something I don't think I had before too. Um, I have all the tools that I can be creative with. I have people that support me. I have so much. So I'm very grateful for that. And I don't mm -hmm. think I would believe I had that before. Mm. Like you didn't know you had this much yeah. support. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have thought I would be in such a fortunate Mm -hmm. position <laughs> what can i help you with oh man there's a lot of things <laughs> uh, can i not no but well like you said i think creating content is hard mm -hmm. so you've been helping me with that too oh. i hope you have fun while helping me too <laughs> but <laughs> yeah do. giving me advice and creative ideas mm -hmm. or even just point me to a direction that was always super helpful mm -hmm. and you've Do been doing I? that oh yeah you're too nice well not too nice i mean i don't i don't mean that you should stop being so nice <laughs> <laughs> i mean you not are you. not too yeah. you, you're just really nice and i Aww. really appreciate it mm -hmm. and i trust your um aesthetic and mm -hmm. your well, yeah. value i guess i'm a designer <laughs> so <laughs> please hire her so she I can agree. stay <laughs> her portfolio yeah. will be linked down below too <laughs> how would you describe me to a stranger oh my gosh that's really hard <laughs> i think i would describe you like you're really fun to be around like Every time we hang out, there's a lot of laughs, laughters. We talk about random things and then we can talk about like super unimportant things and really deep talks. So I would describe you as like a really flexible person. Like I can come <laughs> I to you. I am pretty flexible. <laughs> Yoga. <laughs> like I can come to you for advice and also like just to, you know, talk about random stuff which we all need to sometimes. I think I would describe you as a person who loves to try new things. That's something I admire about you. When you think about something you want to do, you actually go and do it and then try it out. Instead of like me, for instance, I was like, oh, I'm too lazy. I'll do that later. So I think you're really down to try stuff, like adventurous. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. I try, I try. Yeah. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay, I really don't want to do this one. Write a song about your partner, then sing it aloud, get into it. I cannot do this one. I, I cannot, I cannot sing. I mean, I think someone in the car is supposed to be silly though. Oh. <laughs> Damn, I think being silly is hard for me. <laughs> Why? That's something I need to let go of. Do it. Okay, go. Or you want me to go first? Oh, See, I told you to so skip hard. this one. Now we're getting out of our comfort zone. Oh my gosh. Thank you for always listening oh. and helping. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm not done. And you will get everything you want in life. Thank you. <laughs> Mine is more like a kid's song. Okay. <laughs> you know there's gonna be a clip on the internet of us singing really <laughs> No badly. one's gonna watch. <laughs> Stephanie is a girl trying to find her place in the world. It may not be an easy ride, but I'll be by her side. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be using that as my YouTube intro. No! <laughs> 
更阴曹操，曹操。That makes it even better. Life、no. is imperfect. I don't think I love it. People hear that intro and they're like, "Uh, what is this? Close, close, close." Name.、No. Fine, I'll、All、put、right. it in my outro. <laughs> <laughs> not not many people stay until the end. Okay, your turn. Whew, that one was a really tough one. That one took a while.、Mm -hmm. Another wild card. How? Give your partner a compliment you don't think they hear enough. Um, you are smart, you are talented, and you are enough. Aww, cute. I hear that a lot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> When this game is over, what will you remember about me? I guess what you think about me. Part of it is how other people see me. Um, and also a reflection of myself. Like you're trying to remind me that I'm smart, talented, and that I'm enough. So, like that encouragement will stay with me for a while. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We're done with level three. Yay! The hardest part comes now. Yes. So, okay. Final card. So we have to. Each player write a message to the other. Fold in exchange. Open only once you two have parted. And I think we will end the game here. I think we've been playing for probably at least an hour and a yeah. half. Yeah, <laughs> I believe so. But it's a fun game. We learn about about each other.、Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun. I can't wait to play with. Other, other people. people.、Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, you guys have something you could take away. Learn something new, feel more inspired,、mm -hmm. and that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.